Hi everybody and welcome back to our Facebook page. This week's 5 Minute Favorites is going to revolve all around video games. Now why video games? Well, our library will soon be able to say that we have our own video game collection. So keep watching to find out what games I have been obsessing over this quarantine. Number seven on our list is Night in the Woods. The story follows college dropout Mae Borowski, who has just returned home to Possum Springs. Things are not the same, however, and there is something dark and strange haunting the woods. With a great storyline, this game keeps throwing curves at every turn. Night in the Woods is available for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Number six on our list is Bendy and the Ink Machine. This game is a first-person survival horror game that proceeds through different episodes. Each episode has to be completed by either solving puzzles or completing a list of tasks depending on the character. The style of this game is a throwback to the Walt Disney cartoon style of the 1920s, including Steamboat Willie. This game is available for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Number five on our list is Yoko's Island Express. Yoko is a pint-sized postman that must travel through the Mokumana Island to help the locals, awaken ancient deities, and have a brand new tropical adventure. This game focuses on a unique blend of pinball mechanics, platforming, and puzzle solving. Yoku's Island Express is available for PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. Number four on our list is Uncharted, the Nathan Drake Collection. The Nathan Drake Collection includes the first three Uncharted games, all remastered for the PlayStation 4. It follows the story of Nathan Drake, a treasure hunter who travels across the world to uncover various historical mysteries. From action, adventure, and puzzle solving, this game is sure to keep your interest for hours of gameplay. However, this game is only available for PlayStation. If you do enjoy this game, you will need to check out the last of the series, which is Uncharted 4. Number three on our list is Island Saver by Nate West. This game has been produced by Nate West Bank in order to spread the awareness of recycling and cleanup on different ecosystems. You play as a bio knot with a trash blaster that must clean up different types of litter, ranging from plastic, glass, and metal. Along with this, you have to clean up the plant life from ink blobs and fight litter bugs who are trying to destroy the ecosystem. Island Saver is available on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. Number two on our list is Spyro Reignite a Trilogy. This is a remastered version of the classic Spyro trilogy, which is a platforming game created by Toys for Bob and published by Activision. This collection includes the first three games of the Spyro series, including Spyro the Dragon, Ripto's Rage, and Year of the Dragon. This game is available on PC, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. Finally, number one on our list is my favorite game, Sims 4. Sims 4 is a simulation of life in which you create your own household and even build your own homes and complete aspirations and tasks of everyday life. Though the base game has many fun and beautiful creations that you can make, they do have expansion packs which range from island living, tiny homes, parenthood, and even laundry day, which includes more stuff and more create a Sims options. I will say that of this game, during quarantine, I have logged almost 500 additional hours on it. So this game is definitely one that never gets old. And those are the games that I have been obsessing over quarantine. Now, of course, we do have some honorable mentions. First up is Raid Shadow Legends, which is a mobile game that you can get on your phone or tablet. This game revolves all around leveling up your heroes and protecting your kingdom. Secondly, we have Lego Harry Potter. Lego Harry Potter is for those diehard Harry Potter fans who want to live the experience. I'm playing it on my Switch, but it is available on different platforms. Lastly, we have Just Dance 2020. If you have siblings or you want a friendly competition among your family, this is the game. Or if you're just a music lover and you have a range of music tastes from the 60s to the current hits, this is a great way to get exercise and jam out to some music. I hope everybody is staying safe during this time and is having a great week. See you next time. Bye.